Hello guys, I have time for a quick hunt today, so I figured I would take the UTV out and show you a sort of a, a silly kind of thing I got going on here. Now as you may all know, the 16 gauge is uh, quite overpowered at the moment, but it has made uh, duck hunting rather fun. However, the 16 gauge will most likely be nerfed at some time, so then if you're like me, and I uh, don't really enjoy the duck or geese hunting, or the, the bird hunting anyways. I uh, will be stuck with, uh, you know, the old kind of wheat kind of shotguns that we had before, and the 22. Uh, the 16 gauge is kind of made of fun, so I was thinking, I was thinking what should we do here to try and make uh, the bird hunting fun. So what I've sort of done is devised a strategy. Now some of you would have already probably figured this out on your own, but a lot maybe not. Uh, basically, I'm turning the UTV here into a anti-aircraft battery. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. First, uh, we're up here on the map, and I'm going to go target these guys down here, because I am still keeping track of the, the year and everything like that, and I, I don't really know how to how to herd manage like these flocks here. I don't think I have the patience to just kind of you know, do it. So I'm thinking I will do the, the age management sort of thing where I just try to uh, annihilate them all <laughs> and then and then come back, uh, you know, at the appropriate year when they all should be nice and big and fat ducks. And put put them all back to the, the right age. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I have no idea if it's going to be successful. I tried this strategy a couple times already and it's fun. Uh, and I did have some, some success with it, but it's mainly silly. Uh, it's just kind of fun to do. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to drive down here and uh, see what kind of ducks we run into. So the main strategy involves throwing as much lead into the air as you can in the quickest amount of time. Uh, so basically it sounds like a an AA gun going off, kind of like machine gun style. And so you can do it with many different weapons, but I'm going to be using the, the morning... The morning... what is it called? I can't remember what it's called. More than some. Anyways, it's the semi-automatic shotgun that the game came with. Because uh, I think it holds five rounds or so. And then I'm going to switch to the 22 for sort of the long range mode. Alright, I'll show you what we do here. As soon as I find some, some ducks. We should be getting within range here of a few. You just kind of drive up to them. And all you do is stand by the, the UTV use it to reload your your ammo so you can quickly keep the keep the guns going there so I just spooked some moose I was just kind of curious if uh, there's a big one in there oh, looks like a medium one it's not too bad not hunting moose at the moment I don't have any trouble finding them oh did they just take off oh they did okay so here's the thing though I wasn't ready for them now do they come back or not I'm gonna watch them for a minute here they come back um, should be able to do it here. I was practicing this in the south part of Transylvania where it's a little easier because you can drive after them. But I can't really chase them into those trees. They're kind of flying around there. So I want to see where they go if they, they come back this way. Okay, they don't seem to come back. What happens if I chase them down? I'm still sort of working on the strategy here. Oh, they all, they all de-rendered on me. Oh, getting ready. Oh, is there more? Thought I heard some more. Well, goal number one is to find them. <laughs> so, be able to locate them beforehand. Oh, here they are. Okay, can you actually catch them? I never actually tried to really catch them. They're over here by the bridge. This could be difficult just because of all the trees. Okay, there they are there. Can I get to them? Like, is this going to be a thing? Can we like just drive after them? I think we can. Okay, so then we're, we're going to be going to be underneath them. You stop quick. You get out. You get your gun out and get back to the back here, and you blast away. Okay, and then all you do is that, and then reload. Put up with. Uh, the leg here, actually what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the 22, and you can just let let it fly. Whoa. 
No, the kick's got a lot there going on there. Oh, they went through the trees. <laughs> so, definitely a uh, different amount of success with this. I was having an okay time at it. Uh, but uh, it's just kind of a fun, silly thing to do here. So, did I actually get any or not? I don't actually know. But I'm going to walk this way and see. The, the 20 gauge is uh, pretty weak. And I'm thinking, you get a bit of stutter with the shotgun these days, and I'm wondering if the stutter goes away if you keep using it. Or is this something that's permanent as the game tries to calculate the shots or not? So was that completely unsuccessful? Yeah, the strategy is work in progress, but it, it can be fun. Because then what you do, oh, there is one down up there. Uh, what you do is you can, if you can, you get back in the UTV and chase them down. But if you do that, then I guess you'll have a hard time finding the ones you did shoot down. I want to clear out these markers. There we go. Alright, so basically a strategy to try and see see how it works out for you. We got one. <laughs> That's okay. It's just something if you're bored and you got a few minutes. And uh wanna see how you do. I only got the one. Was this a twenty two hit? Ross's goose. Yep, it's a twenty two hit. Right through the wing. Just a young female. Oh look at the little goose. Alright, I think that's the only one I got. Oh, I hear them now. Where are they now? Okay, I wonder if they're coming back. Yeah, so different spots to try this. I was trying in the in the south swamp of Transylvania where it's nice and open and you can really you can really have some fun there. But I wanted to see how this would work down here. So far not so great. Uh but the point is to have a little bit of fun, so back to the UTV we go. And I wonder if these guys are coming back. I mean, until they nerf the 16 gauge, you could just use it, use the strategy with it here. But I wanna, I wanna see how we can do without, without relying on the 16 gauge. So we'll try this again. Do I get all my, uh, my bullets back? So, I mean, you can try it with, you know, running two shotguns. But uh, I kind of find this 22 kind of fun. I was having a bit of success with it, but. Uh, Actually, you know what? What is, uh... What do I got this zeroed at? I wonder how far... How far are I shooting at them? So it's a hundred. How far is these trees? Hmm, maybe I should zero for two hundred on the twenty-two? Or maybe one fifty. One fifty is probably good. Okay, so there's some ducks right over here. Okay, so we know where they are, so we should be able to get nice and close. And we can open up. Oh, there. Oh, yep, yeah, there they are. But they, if you drive through the water, it'll drive take a bit too long to get there. Let's go over here. Around the river, through the water. Okay, here we go. We fly in. Brakes. Shotgun. And then this just does not... Oh no! I lost the little thing! <laughs> this just not have, does not have great range on it. So maybe we should uh, get more stronger uh, shotgun. Oh no. They're not really grouped together. Oh no, you're spinning all over the place. <laughs> oh well. Oh, come on. Are they coming back? Are they coming back? These ducks are brilliant. Come on in to the... Come back into the A gun here. There we go. Oh, really? Man, that, that hit that guy. That is such a weak gun. Alright, I guess we'll... Let them go. Since I can't really drive after them that way. Alright, so... I had some success. But I noticed, I definitely noticed the 20 gauge having hits. And not knocking them down. Look, 
<laughs> Look at the pellets. Okay, that's a little crazy. 56%. Oh, he's a big ducky. Alright, uh... There's another one over here. Who do we get here? Maybe we'll switch. Switch to a stronger uh, shotgun. Brain shot. Morning silence. That's what the shotgun's called. Oh, nice uh, big female uh, ducky. Alright. So I imagine if I switch to the 16 gauge and do this, though, they would just all be destroyed. Which maybe we'll do that just for fun. Did I get any more? So he went flying this way. I think I was pretty unsuccessful in the first wave. This 20 gauge just does not work too well, even when it does connect. Okay, I'm just gonna look around for a second, and then we'll maybe we'll switch to the 16 gauge. Oh, I didn't even see these. These are laying right beside the UTV here. Why didn't you guys tell me? All right, so four. Well, that's not bad. Just mainly because it came flying back again. Uh, so that's a morning silence headshot. An adult female. There we go. And here's the other one. Oh, this one just got nicked. And then morning silence blasted her. Okay, so that's this adult. Sell her. All right, now we gotta find some more. So what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we'll start with uh, this one, but we're actually going to switch out to the 16 gauge here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Right here. There. So we'll we'll do the first round with the with the 20 gauge, and then immediately switch to the 16 gauge as they fly off. So where are more ducks? I guess I'll keep going down here just to see if there are any. Oh, we have some moose here. Why not take a look at the moose? They're just hanging out having a drink. Two star mature. I mean, we have all our rifles and stuff on us. Uh, well, we can switch to them, of course. But I'm not too concerned about the two star mature. He's just going to... There's no point taking him out. He's going to be 50-60%. So he's not even going to matter in the... When I'm not actively hurt managing, if you take out one guy right in the middle, then he just doesn't do anything. Uh, but it could be fun to drive down there. I don't see any any ducks or here any. So maybe we can uh, try and get the moose out with the, the 16 gauge. Just have a little bit of fun here. All right, we're aiming for uh, the mature two star, just for fun. Here we go. So what happens when you get a little uh, a little bored of the game? <laughs> Yeah, do some super realistic hunting like this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch them, though, through all these bumps and water and stuff. Okay, okay, there, whoa! Okay, here we go, we're on his tail. If he gets to the trees, we won't be able to chase him down. Oh, and definitely if I don't drive well. Okay, and the water's not a good way to catch him. Not a good way to catch him. Oh, I heard some ducks. Oh, we'll come back for him. We're in, we're in pursuit. Oh! Okay, never mind. Get out, river. Okay, we're we're doing 16 gauge, I guess. No, no, no. Get the get the thing. Quick little reload. They're falling. Some of them are. Ah, oh, I lost them. Okay, so we have uh, the UTV kind of stuck, and AR. Out this way. Is my UTV gonna break? Oh, it did. <laughs> Too deep. All right. I'm surprised. Uh, knowing me, River would have just drowned as he got out of the jeep there. Luckily, <laughs> it sunk in the passenger side. All right. Uh, I'm not sure I was gonna get that moose because he was almost into those trees. Okay, so we got a couple down. Four, look at that. See, I don't want to be using the 16 gauge though, just because it's it's not going to be like this way forever. I don't want to. I don't want to get used to it, which I'm kind of used to it. Oh, these guys coming or going? Got one. Got two. Oh, I hit. He didn't fall. Okay, I think they're too far now. Uh, I don't want the 16 gauge to change. 
Who knows when it will. But uh, let's pick these guys up. This is probably the the geese I ran into before, probably. Yeah, 68 meters. Uh, one star. 18%, yeah. Definitely don't need you around. Who else did we get? Uh, another one star little fit man. I haven't really been hunting these guys. Aren't they supposed to be all sitting around 50% or so? If you don't touch them. So that's just female. I kind of like how these geese look. Uh, there's a 38%. Aw, oh, man. You guys really rolled low. I certainly don't have a 5 star of these guys. Uh, and we have a mature female. Eh, a little bit of money anyways. So I gotta get over there and then I'm gonna have to... Uh, Oh, there they go again. Are you coming this way? Okay. Oh, there's there's a bunch of them. Come on this way, guys. Oh, they're within range of good old 16 gauge. This is not supposed to be a 16 gauge video, though. Look at them all. I can't resist that. I can't resist just a group of them. They're all diving. That's a double. Oh, now they're coming this way. Oh, didn't knock them out in the second one. I don't know. The 16 gauge is just fun this way. I think there's only one left. I hit him. He's still flying, though. Okay, so I've got a couple over there. Let's just pick these ones up. All right, I'm gonna pick these ones up, and I'll just pop in if there's anything exciting. Uh, there's <laughs> just all over the place. Yeah, it's just a massacre. <laughs> this shotgun's awesome. Just a massacre. Couple more. Look, that was 123 meters. Oh, he's a three-star. Not good enough. All right, and then there's like two more over here. I already picked up a bunch more. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> there's more there. This is kind of funny. I just picked up one. There's two more laying here, so these were a double shot. Uh, this guy only got hit with two pellets. Looks like 36%. And... 162 meters, one shot. 82% adult. Ah, oh well. I'm going to keep, uh, keep at this group down here, the, the birds that are down here, just so I do my little age management. So I know maybe they all reset next year and come in at year one. Oh, there's one over here by my UTV. And then I'll know when they're, they're at their oldest and they're Plumpest. And uh, several more. Oh, <laughs> this is crazy. To your female. And oh, this one. Oh, no. That's two shots on this one. And another mature female. And then. Oh, no. Was that. Oh, no. There's another one. Yep. Into the ground. 111 meters. 64% adult. He could have got bigger, but still not what we're looking for. I think this is the last one. Then I have to get down over there. And then I'm going to try my little UTV AA battery thing again here. Without this. 75 meter, 41%. Good. I mean, 16 gauge can make a little bit of money anyways. Oh, what? There's two more over here? Alright, there's two more there, and then apparently more towards the trees. Well, what do we have here? These are the Ross? Yeah. 116, 57 mature male, 3 star, sell. How about you? A little stuck right in the mud there. Feet stick it up. Uh, mature female, almost 40 coins. You know, it's not bad for a, for a bird. I like the geese, they kind of look cool. Okay, I put the marker down here. Did I get them in these trees or not? 
Just climb up here. Oh, I guess those were the ones I was trying to mark. Alright, so now I'm just going to rethink here. So we're not using, we're not going to use the 16 gauge. We're going to fly back up here because i got to respawn it. We're going to keep focusing on the south here. Oh, here's a question. Here's a question. So we have some ducks that are down in breakwater and some ducks in falls reservoir. Do the the ducks up here get uh, get bonuses? Let's see. Wild duck, mallard duck. I guess they're always at their feed zones, eh? So do they get? Yeah, I bet you they do get a fitness bonus up there. So I should actually be hunting them in the other place. Ah, oh well. Okay, so we need to get a new UTV out. Get ours unstuck. Okay, and we're gonna... What should we do this time to try this thing out here? So we're not using 16 gauge. Too overpowered. We gotta get used to not using it. This thing's really underpowered. But it's not bad to open up with. Because it gets five shots, right? So if you start with this one... What other choices do we have? There's the really ugly um, V3 down here, because it's a 12 gauge, and the pump. The pump? Oh, it's 20 gauge though. I don't want. I don't want two 20 gauges. And then the rest is um, the cinnamon sky and the other double. Let's try. Let's try these two. So we'll go here, and then grab. The Waterfowl Pro. Okay, and then we'll... So this one gets five shots to start with. So you, you can get ten off of that because you can reset it once. And then this one gets four. Right? But you only reload three, I think. Oh no, he gets four. Okay. Well, it says, uh, it says in the... It says here it only has a magazine capacity of three. So I guess it puts one in the chamber and that doesn't count? Okay, well whatever. So one there and then three in the three in the mag. Okay, that's fine. So oh that's that's better then. Because we get four and then five. Actually we might as well just use Yeah, we might as well just use this one. Because there's only one shell difference. Okay, let's try that. Oh, there's some more moose down here. Maybe we can get a closer look at them. What do we have here? Anything worth anything? No, I don't think so. They're all looking young. I mean, I could take him out. He's looking pretty small, but he's probably brand new. Okay, won't worry about him. Jump out and just put four 20 gauges in them. Alright, so I'm going to head south again. Oh! So that's all. I thought I heard a duck. Okay, that's just a hawk or something flying up there. Oh, they're right here. Okay, here we go. Have the, have the shotgun ready. Are you by yourself? Oh, really? Hey, reload. I think these guys are... Too far. Yeah, the 12 gauge, it's just, it's just no 16 gauge. Yep. Hmm. So you sort of, I'm going to reset it like this. I kind of, I kind of still want the 22. So let's grab him and then get the stinger again. Just because it could be fun. I think I only got a couple though, right? Oh, they're coming back. Okay. I love how smart these birds are. 
Alright, so we'll get, we'll get the shotgun out again. Stand right by our reload spot. And we will open up. Okay, reload. Oh yeah, working like a working like a charm. There, that's a little better. I like how they come flying back. That's nice and handy. Okay, let's see if there's anything uh, good in this group because they they've been annihilated. All right, I'll just uh, I'll just pop back if there's something something worth looking at here. Yeah, so nothing really worth seeing. That that herd there or herd that flock there was all like in the thirty percent and stuff. There's a 16 gauge that didn't knock it out because it was only one pellet that hit. And it was 169 meters. Two pellets would have did it though. <laughs> okay. But this is still effective. Uh, two star mature. Oops. Let's sell. Um, because they're not going to nerf this this one. So we can use this uh, I don't know what urine yellow shotgun here. Okay. Because this works well. Four shots like that. And if they come back around again. Yeah, this this can be nice and effective. Okay, I had a bubble right up here. Does that mean there's ducks right here? Oh, there is. Oh, go, go, go. Get out of the, get out of the water. Okay, out. And where are they? Oh, they went this way. Okay, reload. Turn off Hunter's ends. Switching. Oh yeah, some falling out of the sky there. And we got a machine gunning off here. <sighs> okay, the 22's are off. Oh, hit! Maybe even two. Can't tell. Too far away. All right. So maybe I shouldn't use the 22, even though I got a few hits, because uh, it might be stopping them from turning around. Right? Okay. Because I see them here. Are they coming back? Oh, oh, we got more ducks over here. I'm not sure they're coming back or not. Okay, so we have some ducks right here. I'm gonna mark them, come back and get them. I don't wanna see if these guys are coming back. So yeah, maybe the strategy is to not use the 22, even though it did work there. Okay, that's fine. I mean, not, not bad rate of income either. 32%? Yeah, they're all 30% or so. Okay, you guys stay right there. Unless we're scalp or whatever you call, call them here. Okay, where is, uh... Now, yeah, over here. Yeah, because then, if you're using the 22, then you gotta... You have to go a ways. To collect them. So I think maybe we'll put the 22 away. Oh, a 3 star. And just hope that they come back, maybe? Even though it is kind of fun. You know, gives a little bit of excitement with the 22. It's kind of fun to just let it go. Okay, there's another one up there. Maybe this is my 22 shot. It always seems like you hit them farther away than they are. Like, I thought he'd be farther away than this. Unless this is actually one of the 20 gauge, or 12 gauge shots. This is probably the 22. What do we got? So that, he got hit. Yeah, 22 got him. 167 meters. Oh, and the bullet kind of zigzagged in there. Okay, sell. And is this a 22 as well? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. 22 work there, 171 meters. And I think that's all we got. Yeah, this is just a zone. Alright, so they didn't come back, so I'm thinking the 22 prevents them from coming back. 
So we'll, we'll keep the 22 away for these guys here. And try and clear this group off. But we're going to need the UTV first. We're going to get a little closer. Oh, I see another glowy thing over here. Good thing I got the glowies on because it would be really hard to find all these guys without it. That's why we need a retriever dog. That would make duck hunting fun. Have a dog with you. Definitely gives my vote. The Hunter Classic has the Retriever Dog. This is the first one they put in there. And I thought it was great. Just to have a dog walking around with you, even though they don't use it too much. But it is great in that game. You're hitting the pheasants and stuff. Because they're flying all around you. You, you, you don't get you don't have this compass right at the top. In, in the classic and when you're shooting you don't have your hunter made out so you, you get kind of spun around and you don't remember where they fell because you're like you're looking up here shooting at pheasants and you can't remember where they fell down so the dog really helps there okay so they're right here oh wait let's get the shotgun ready is it fully loaded yeah okay here we go. Try this again. Where are you, duckies? Surprise! Alright. Look at them all. They're confusing me. There's too many. <laughs> oh no! Reload. Whoa! In flying low. Okay, reload again. Okay, more. Nice and realistic duck hunt. Down they go. Oh, click, click, click. Reload. Oh, there's another one I think stuck right here. He's doing the circle maneuver. I can't get him. There we go. Okay, who else is there? I heard quacking. Are they coming back? Nope. Oh. oh, here we go. Oh, I think they turned away. Okay. Oh, well, we'll collect these guys. And then head that direction again. Then I'm going to have to probably stop the video. Because it's, of course, it's going longer than I planned it to. 33 minutes right now. Oh no. Yeah, they're still there flying around. I wonder if they come back again. Ooh, brain shot on that guy. Three stars out. Not a five star in sight. I mean, I'm probably, I'm probably in the wrong zone for that. I never even thought about that. Well, you don't want to be a duck in the reserve here today. Oh, they're flying away. Where are you going? Okay, there's another female. Is your one worth 20 big ones? Keep thinking they're going to fly back, but they didn't. Okay. Oh, he's got two shots on him. No problem. Ooh, almost a 78%. So, so they're, you know, they're at the top of the bell curve, but nobody's breaking it except for that guy, of course. Oh, he might have got five. I don't know. I don't know the percentage on the ducks. Oh, well. So, I mean, I'm going to note this day or the year that I did this so that I know when to come back. Uh, actually, what are the ages of all these? Because they're going to have different ages, right? They're going to live different times. Uh, no, no, I want um, a wild duck. How long do they live for? Ten years. Ross Goose lives for... T oh, they live forever. Well, that's going to make it hard. You have to target these guys. Oh, the Goose. Yeah, the Goose live forever. And then, uh, what's the other one? This guy here. Is he 10 years too? Eight. Oh, that's tricky. Yeah, you really have to target the... If you're going to do the age management, yeah, you really have to target them. You can't hit other ones or it'll mix, mix it up. That's tricky. I'll have to recontemplate this. I've just been annihilating all of them. Hmm. 
Oh, well, we'll have Africa soon, so that's going to distract me from from Nez Perce here. So did any others come over here? Let me just take a look. I don't know. What do you think? What's the best way to to like flock and manage the ducks? Should you should you come out and just find each one and just hit the low fit with the 22 and they're just swimming around? That sounds kind of boring. Or this I mean this way is trying to delete the the all the flocks and then come back. You know, the next year they'll come back all age one and then you'll know when they're going to be, like with the wild duck, you'll know when they're 10 years old. So then you'll know they're all big, but you're not really doing any fitness management that way, right? I don't know. I don't think I have the will or the patience to do fitness management on ducks. It's much more fun just to blast them. Or maybe you just don't fit, do fitness at all, just kind of keep doing this. Is there one that took off? Oh, oh, they did take off. I didn't even get close to you yet. Okay, well, let's see if I can get close to them. Oh, the right. Oh, they're super high, though. Okay. Oh. So everybody's going this way now. All right. I just. Where am I on the map? I'm not fully south yet. Oh, there's another one here. I might be able to get him. Yeah. Okay, did these guys turn around then? I don't understand why they turn around sometimes and why sometimes they don't. Oh, there's one right here. All right, I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna do this one more time. And then I'm gonna turn the video off. Okay, I haven't got any of these guys yet. 68 percenter. And, okay, I don't actually see those guys very much. I remember doing the mission, and it was really annoying. Uh, but if I had to redo the mission now, this is how I would do it. If we only knew back then what we know now about the game. Okay, so I'm going to go collect, and then we'll try to make my video short, which it's not. <laughs> Here's the one. How far away was this guy? I think this is the last one. Another mallard, wild duck. It's only 40 meter shots. Well, I don't think there's any more. Well, I've totally lost count with how many I've gotten so far. I mean, this sort of strategy is working. Sort of. I mean, you just sort of have to randomly stumble upon a five star. But yeah, I think if I did this strategy up north there, maybe we'll do it on a stream or something like that. I finally got upgraded internet, but I haven't tested streaming on it yet. So, brand new kind of thing to see how, how the internet holds up here. Okay, on the last one, I'm going to try just the 22 and see if I can actually hit anything. I mean, my strategy is to let all the all the rounds go all at once as quick as possible, because then it's sort of like the 22 is like one shotgun burst, but a really long-range, powerful one. But maybe I should try to do more precision shots with it. So we know they went north here. Where would they have landed? Okay, I don't think any ducks really land here, right? Right along this little spot? Anybody quacking? Nope. Can I pull? Who put that tree there? See if I can get through here without breaking the UDV. Okay. 
Gotta be somewhere out here somewhere. This is prime duck territory. Stop. And listen. Nope. I wonder where they flew to then. Alright. Just gotta find one more group here. Ah, target over here. Target acquired. Here I come. There we go. Jump out. And Oh I hit him. He didn't he didn't fall this guy though. Oh I like how the, the bullets hit the <laughs> hit the UTV. Oh look at They're in a big group, that's perfect. Oh, some are falling. Some are falling from this guy. Oh, come on, really? Hmm. Okay. I know I said I was going to do precision shots, but let's try to snipe this guy. There we go. Oh, that's a hawk. Well, they're way too far away. Okay, you guys going to come back? Bring them in closer. Wait till you see the whites of their eyes. They're not going to get any closer. There you go. Three, three ground burst. Submachine gun. This is the AA gun here. Oh, really? Oh, got him. Another one down. Nope. Do it again. Man. Okay, one more go. You gotta be pretty far now. Ah, nope. Can't get him. Alright. Well, that worked out okay. So I've got to collect them all. Then we'll end the video. See if there's anything exciting in all these guys. They're going to be all over the place. Hit some this direction, and then down along here. Oh, there, oh, there's a couple here. Let's get these guys first. Yeah, see, this is uh, this is all right. This is all right. Twenty-two works. Okay, it's fun. Uh, oh, a four-star ducky. He wasn't gonna make the five. Uh, we're gonna sell you. You're just not trophy material. Oh, I'm gonna end up going this way when I want to go this way. Okay, hold on. Mark you, and then I gotta go sort of easterly from here. And then, oh, nice, nice shot there. Okay, and that's just a an adult one. Okay, we can run now because I'm not gonna bother hunting anymore. Put the gun away here. Yep, <laughs> there's just a bunch in a line here. Here's a. Here's a male. 72 meters. Ah, 81%. Darn it. Alright, we'll be back. We'll be back in 10 years to try and hunt some mallard here. Since I got enough of them. It'll be, uh, should be good. Okay. Or at least there will there'll be a bunch of them that are max plumpness anyways. Grab you. Oh, three shots. That one went through the wing. What's this one? Another one went through the wing. How is this, like, not... Huh. And then that one got him. Another one in the wing. All right. Death by a thousand paper cuts. Three star guy. Um, and there was another one this way, I think. Approaching 45 minute video. This is supposed to be a 25 minute video. Oh no, don't tell me there's ducks flying in here. Don't. Don't make me do it. Don't make me hunt more. They're really high up. What am I going to get stuck on? Really high up. And I don't have my 
my AA vehicle with me. Man, uh, hmm. No, oh, one. Oh, they're coming in close. Oh, he's a lucky guy, man. Alright, your luck's run out. Nope, it's still there. <laughs> I'm stuck on this guy. Wow. See, they're, they're really far apart, so. Oh, well. Oh, I'm out of bows anyways. That's why you need your ammunition depot vehicle with you. Get this guy. What do we got here? Mature female, 20 big ones. Okay, just gotta collect a few more. Don't know if this is the last guy or not. Oh, they're taunting me again. You're lucky I'm out of bullets. I mean, I got the 12 gauge left. Oh no. Nope. I have to end the video. 54%. And of course, more over this way. Oh, they all landed over there. Okay, no, you guys get to live. Get to relax and have fun over there. 105 meter shot. Nice. Just a young female. And I think that should just about do it. I don't think I got any further than that one. Nope. All right, well, let me think. Or let me know what you think of uh, that strategy. <laughs> It's uh, not certainly not uh, not in the spirit of the realistic hunt, anyways. But the the ducks aren't really a very realistic hunt to begin with. They all they all kind of act funny, and I don't know. They uh, they need some sort of pass on them, like the pheasants and the ducks and everything like that. They need they need some attention, sort of. You know how their AI works, and you know, I don't know how they're gonna work on it. But uh, especially the pheasants, they really need some work. Uh, but anyways, uh, that'll be it for the video. Way too long than I was planning on, uh, but that's just kind of normal. So thanks for watching, everybody, and happy hunting. Take care.